This is the A483 North-South Trunk Road where the world normally flashes by the village of Howie in rural Mid Wales. There's little reason to stop here and things are very quiet and still at Ashfield, a now derelict and deserted site beyond the main road and the heart of Wales railway line. But it hasn't always been this way. Two years ago, Ashfield was a very productive patch of land. Today things are stirring and a group of local people are working hard to regenerate what was once an important asset within the wider community. Uh, well, there are four polytunnels, one you can see is in rather sorry state now. Um, the smaller tunnels are certainly you know, well within our capability to, to fix and repair. It's, it's £100 for a polythene and half a dozen people for a weekend. These, these polytunnels were highly productive. They were productive uh, as recently as two years ago. Um, now they're, they're kind of knee-high and thistles, <laughs> um, but nothing that can't be remedied. But it's not just about digging and weeding at Ashfield. Well, this, this is set up as a, a woodworking shop. Um, it's the all new equipment, the irony being but uh, I think probably within a year or so of all this stuff coming in, it, um, it failed to meet new health and safety standards. So it's, um, it's, it's really redundant unless we can sort out um, you know, the extra guards and things. Uh, but we'll run this as a woodworking shop or, or you know, general hand, handworking skills. No stone is left unturned as the site is surveyed for whole community access. One of the things that we're particularly interested in is uh, the notion that we could look at uh, accessible gardening aids or you know, raised beds, the sort of things that people can work on if, if they're not as young and as supple as they were or, or, or even uh, as today we've got uh, Andy here doing his uh, disability access, access survey. So, you know, gardening for wheelchairs, gardening, uh, gardening for everyone, really. Everything's quite level around here, but it's just the sort of way that things have become overgrown. So hopefully there'll be plenty of willing volunteers who can help shift some of the grass that's grown. It's a fantastic site. I've travelled past it many a time up and down through Wales and sort of not realised that it was here. So just to come on site today and see what they're trying to do and the sort of aspirations for the site is really inspiring and it's great. A community needs facilities in order to survive and a successful bid to fund the Ashfield project could well provide new and exciting opportunities. It's vitally important that people use their local um, uh, shops and pubs because in order you know, to, to keep these things you've got to use them and if you don't use them you lose them and, and that's, that's, I think that is you know, very, very important. If they did produce um, seasonal vegetables and fruits and that, we'd buy it by all means because I like to kind of try and get as much local stuff as we can. Hopefully, with the help of the funding from the lottery, we will be able to bring prosperity back to our village, which is suffering at the moment. Uh, everything seems to have been taken away from us. We've lost our schools, we've lost our youth clubs. Uh, there's nothing at all here at the moment for people to do or nowhere for people to meet. Um, and I'm just hoping that we can get Ashfield off the ground and it's going to make a great difference to the community. It's about people getting together, uh, resolving the problems both for the site but also for the village of Howie as well. We can offer people opportunities. It'll be somewhere that people want to come um, and that's that's the absolute that's the basis of our economic plan um, and we think that that's a winner.